Well, hello everyone. Today I am sat in conversation with Helen Adair, and Helen is going to be introducing to us the concept of a Pregnancy Choices Centre. Now, for those of you that do not know, Helen is a wonderful part member of this community here in the life of this church. She runs our Flourish Women's Ministry every single week. She's married to Steve Adair, who runs our men's ministry every single week. Um, so a real, real valuable member of our community and it's been wonderfully inspired to introduce us uh, to us something um, that we're going to go into a little bit more detail now. So Helen, over to you. Um, can you describe for us what a Pregnancy Choices Centre is? I can. A Pregnancy Choices Centre is a place, a safe place, where a woman or a couple find themselves in a crisis pregnancy. That could be something where it's unplanned, or it could be um, the pregnancy develops into a crisis because of um, an illness with the mother or a change of circumstances or something shows up with the development of the baby. So it's a place where a couple would say, or a woman can come and just spend as much time as they need just chatting through various options that they may have um, before they make a decision about what happens with their pregnancy. We don't judge anyone, we just say spend that time with them just exploring all the options that they, they have in front of them. Fantastic, so if, if someone was going to be coming along to a Pregnancy Choices Centre, one which we hope to put into our community here, yeah. um, what would they expect? Okay, they'd expect a very warm welcome um, and plenty of time. It's really important when you are faced with a decision that can change your life, that you have just time just to breathe and sit back and just chat through it. And so um, you'll have some sort of counselling time, a counsellor who will be there, who will just help you to identify what's going on in your life and how you can make the best decision for you um, in your current situation, in your circumstances. So what, what was the inspiration behind all of this in the first place? Um, many years ago, I actually did some pregnancy training, uh, crisis counselling training, and um, helped set up a centre in Stoke-on-Trent when we lived there. Then we moved to South Africa and there was a, a centre there as well. So I was able to do some counselling and help um, women over there. And I, we moved back here and I've been kind of sitting and God has just been telling me this is what I need to be doing. We've decided to call it the Well Pregnancy Choices Centre because the um, story of the Samaritan woman at the well just inspires me so much. Jesus just met with her and revealed things to her, helped her to, to make choices and didn't judge her in any way and left her to go off and make her own choice um, in the world, in her future. So that just is, is inspiring, which is why we've called it that. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, for anyone who's watching this, listening in today, and they are equally getting inspired to help people in similar life circumstances, how could someone get involved in something like this moving forward? Thank you. Um, we really need, we're about to set ourselves up as a, a charity. So I really need some um, people as trustees who would like to sort of help us with our vision, with our values. Um, I'm. People who know me know I'm not very good at admin, so anybody who would like to help with sort of admin things, whether it just be an hour and that's all, or extra time, I really don't know. But yeah, if you're inspired to help and be involved, it would be really great for you to have a chat with me. I think my email address is going to be on the screen and you can just contact me and I would love to hear from you just to chat through if you've got any questions or any thoughts. Um, it'd be really good to hear from you and. I would really love people who have been um, challenged in this way or touched in this way just to get in touch with us and um, yeah, have a chat through. Fantastic. Is there anything else that you think would be good for anyone to know right now before um, finding out anything more about this moving forward? Um, I think probably many people aren't aware that one in four conceptions in this country um, end in termination which is quite a harsh statistic really and um, in this area if you would like a termination or an abortion you have to go to Gloucester and you know the NHS busy not always time to chat with people so um, I think it's important to know that we will give women and couples just time to come and not have to make a quick decision 
and be rushed into something, that they would just have that time to just focus and help them just to come and make the best decision for them. That's what I really want to say we're about. We're helping them. We're not going to push them in any one direction, but we are going to just help them to make the best decision, decision for them that they won't regret that um, is best for them at this time in their circumstances. Um, I also wanted to say actually that we um, are available to help people who have suffered some kind of pregnancy loss as well, such as miscarriage or stillbirth, um, anything like that. So again, it's a place where people can come and just talk and help. We can help um, couples and women go through that healing sort of process and women who may have had determination as well. Sometimes it can affect you emotionally. So we're available for counselling for, for women, just and I say couples, whoever it's been affected by it, to come and talk with us through those things as well. Fantastic, fantastic. Helen, thank you so much for this. We, we as a church are, are really proud to be partnering with this at this stage um, of this journey. And uh, we, we do hope that this will be commencing in the wonderfully new renovated space next door alongside a whole bunch of other groups and ministries that we do hope to set up that can help someone, not just in moments of great crisis or confusion, but also beyond all of that as well, into what fullness of life can really do, can and should look like for each one of them as well moving forward. So watch this space, not just for this, but also for many other things as well that are, that are happening in that environment. And for any and all ways in which you can get involved, please do contact us and the information is available to you here. Thank you and God bless.